Hi, today we're going to make a tetrahedral kite. So this is a kite you can make with straws and uh, strawberries very easily, which makes it very flexible. For example, you can actually fold it up like this. So you can check out the history behind this. It's actually when the Wright brothers were looking into flying. Uh, at the same time, Alexander Graham Bell was experimenting with personal flight too. And this is one of his designs. They had a huge version of this. It flies super well. If I drop it like this, you can see it falls in a really nice way. Unfortunately, it's paper, so it's broken. So now we're going to fix it together. So what we need is four tetrahedrons. And to make tetrahedrons, we use strawberries, the threes. And you need 16 threes if you want to make it with only threes. So when you build a kite, we need straws and four times six straws is in one of these kites. You also need uh, some lightweight plastic. I'm using uh, waste plastic, like plastic bags for, for your trash. You can find really thin plastic like this in your any kind of convenience store. You can recognize the kind of plastic. It's very thin, which makes it fly really nicely like that. So this is what you're looking for, because having lightweight is really good. And um, you also need either glue, I mean, wood glue, or tape, or double-sided tape, which is the one I'm going to choose. You also need a pair of scissors, as usual. So let's start. And when we build the tetrahedron, uh, one of the best ways of building it is to take your threes and fold the legs like this. So they're pre-folded, so it's easier to put them together in a symmetrical way. So I've already folded a couple here. So we need four corners for our first tetrahedron. And then, try to think how many straws we need. I take these straws, and I squeeze them on. And it's important when you put these together that you make sure they uh, align so they're flat. So the flat pieces of the straw and, and the connector is in the same plane like that. And the tetrahedron, by the way, is one of the photonic solids. It's the simplest shape that has the same face in all directions. Um, and that makes up the volume in space. So the tetrahedron is really interesting. And you can feel that it's pretty strong. And that's why we use it. It's strong and lightweight. It's perfect to have in a kite. So here's my first tetrahedron. And as you can see, this is going to be a little bit bigger kite. Now I'm going to make four of these. When you have your tetra, I folded out a piece of this bag. And then I do this little trick that is the last thing I came up with. So I want it to be approximately this much outside of that one. And then I put one of these in the middle. And I fold this over. So I get a center fold of this. And then I align these pieces. I can see that it still covers that part that's under there. And when I have this, I can actually, if you can use a razor blade like this, you either you can take a pen or something, or you can use your blade. But today I'm going to use my blade. And a little bit offset, it's not really important exactly how much. 
I'm going to do the same with all your pieces. And then here. There we are. And then I have a little bit left here. Corners. So once you've done these, you can make four of these if you want to, uh, or you do this. Put a little bit of glue on here. Okay, on both sides. So now I can actually do this. So it's time to uh, connect these once we've got all them covered. So I'm going to remove the ones I used to secure the plastic. <clears throat> so to connect these we need uh, one, two, three for the bottom. So let's start connecting them. The first trick to do this is to take your single strawberry and put it from the inside of one of these and out all the way like this. And this can be actually a little bit tricky later. Uh, turn it so it stands on the top like this. Then it's easier, or like the strawberries plane is um, like along this edge here. And then this is the tricky part. Hold it all the way in and try to get this through into the next one. So it actually worked pretty well. Then I do the same from this end. On the inside, squeeze it all the way through so the uh, Otherwise, you can use a string or anything to tie these together. You can see they're still very loose, they attach to each other. Take another strawberry. So this doesn't matter which end you take it from. Um, <clears throat> maybe I should get this better balanced. So I'll use a double strawberry. Now we invented something during the workshop that I haven't done before. 
So the other two are faced downwards, uh, like that, and because this is going to be the middle plane, I need to have these very nicely balanced. So, so I'm going to take a double and squeeze it through all the way, and then squeeze it through all the way on this end. This gives it better balance. I never know, I don't know if it's going to be better, but this is the first time we're doing it, so let's do this together. And then I take the strawberries, put them like this. Oh, I forgot to cut this off before. Get help from your if you have problems with this. So now you see I only stuck them up so they open up precisely. This is because this way it's much easier to click them on top of each other. So hold on both sides of the hole and squeeze them together. And when you've done that, you get that little end and pull it up so it stands up like that. And then you do the same. Two. This can be a little bit tricky. Take it through and then I push this all the way through. See, so I get this out. And then this one, the last one. Squeeze it in. Might actually have to get that one out all the way. Even before. You can see it's a little bit tricky this last step. So I'm going to hold it almost like that, just because I want a short stretch of the strawberry so it's easier to squeeze it through the hole. I hold my fingers on both sides and click it in. And there we have it. Once all these are on top of each other, it's locked. Now you have your first Sapinski fractal, if you haven't done it before. Uh, and because of this little thing, I think it's actually better balanced than any one that have done before. You can just try to Fall straight and it actually falls really nice. This is going to be a great kite. Now we're going to attach the string. So there's a couple of different ways to do this and uh, you can either attach it directly at about a quarter of the distance here. So can you figure out a good way of measuring quarter distance? Or you can take a string that's approximately three times the length of this one fold it over like this to measure. So this is approximately three times. And then there's a really nice trick with strawberries uh, to connect a string and I'm going to show you now. So you make it into a, you fold it double a little bit like that and then you take it over and around the strawberry then you pull it and then you get a knot. And now you want as little as possible of this excess string there but something like that is okay and then we tie a safety knot here next to the one so it doesn't slip this string is actually bad i just to get a hold of a better string and i put it through like this same thing i take away as long much of the excess as possible so. but not too much so it just slips out because this is, no, it actually sits pretty good, so I think it's okay. But we'll make an extra safety knot. There we are. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to make do. <clears throat> then we take these two and attach them to the kite. One there, and one here. And then we want this kite to fly something like this. So we want our kite string to be attached somewhere here. And then we can use the same trick, or maybe a little bit more like this. This might be good. But this is actually a good experiment. We can actually go out and try what works best. So I'll attach another strawberry at this point where I wanted it to be. So then I can use the same trick I showed you before. 
So I'll take it through. Um, on top like that. And then we made a, a little connection. And it's stuck in that place. Maybe you can secure it with a dab of glue or, or an extra little knot. So I'll try the extra knot for now. So this is a perfect way to connect. I'm actually going to make this into a ring. I should have used uh, just uh, one of the rings. So now, I'll, because I have a lot of these, I'll just modify them to one of those. Connections. So that's perfect little connector for your kite string, if you have one of these, or if you just have string, you can just tie it to this place. So there we are. Done. Tetrahedral kite. Let's go try it out.